Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts. We are here in Cologne and we've got Daryl. Daryl, congratulations. Happy with that? Um, happy just with the win, really. I have no idea what the average was, but you're a stat fanatic. So you're going to tell me? 97 and 62 plenty doubles. I was alright. Was it? You would take out every game, wouldn't you? Um, so I was alright, but um, uh, this tripod of yours is missing. Uh, you might seem like you're had a few too many uh, sprites. So, you <laughs> but no, uh, honestly, happy with the result. Happy to get a win. Obviously, uh, it doesn't matter if it was a 97. We are 77. As long as you get the win, get a chance to come back tomorrow and improve, and uh, hopefully I uh, can do that. You only played Christian a few weeks ago on the pro tour as well, so you knew what he was all about. Yeah, he, he, he's a real quality player. I mean, obviously not many people know about him. Uh, I, I've watched him for a brief while because he's one of them people that sticks out. Um, his throw is. I don't, I don't know if you see it or if anybody else sees it, but I see it as another Rim Van Varnevold throw. He's nice and high, nice and smooth and fluid. Um, so he, he could be the next big, next big thing in Germany uh, with the way he throw is. Uh, so I knew not to take him lightly. And uh, for his first time on TV, I thought, I thought he did well. I mean, do you know what his average was? Just shy, he was about 95. 95. Uh, listen, uh, if you got any dark player that's going to throw on TV for the first time and they're going to average 95, I think every single dark player will take that. Uh, I, I don't think he let himself down. I thought he was a great. I, I thought he played well there. There was a couple of. Uh, there was a leg there or two that me away with. Whereas probably my um, experience came through and I got that leg. So fair play to him. Um, I think he's one for the future. Possibly he could be the way his throw is, so naturally and smooth like Barnival's. He could be the best uh, German player there is to come. James Wade up next as well, looking forward to that tussle. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, me and James got on well. We're like, uh, we're like two peas in a pod, aren't we? So, um, yeah, we're on about talking about cars all day, every day. So, uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Jim's done enough tonight to get through. Obviously, I think he had a 90 average, had a 97. Uh, but he'll, he'll not have a 90 against me tomorrow. So, um, I'll honestly, I need to play better than what I did tonight to try and get through, and uh, hopefully I do. Also, as well, looking back from Vegas, do you think it was a missed opportunity? Because the Peter Wright game you had in the palm of your hands, it seems to let it slip. So is it looking to improve here in Cologne? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've put a lot of work on the mentally getting ready for Blackpool. Uh, the first uh, six legs of that game against Peter, I think I was averaging 108 by the end of it, but I was averaging 110 mostly until I missed a few doubles. Um, so all, all honestly, everything's going towards Blackpool. But um, yeah, you, you're, you're right. Uh, after I came back after the break, I felt like I was stretching for the treble instead of just throwing naturally like I was in the first six legs. And that's where the game was won and lost. I, I, went, I dipped uh, a bit and uh, Peter, he went up a level and at the end of the game, you got to be on it the whole way through. And Peter was probably the most consistent player throughout the whole game, which he deserved to win. And I just went off the boil a wee bit on the, the second half of the game. So uh, he was a well-deserved winner. Darren, congratulations on a great result here in Cologne. Thanks for joining us as always. Cheers, Phil. Thanks.